Hello, welcome to the demo video on Clone Lifecycle Management feature of SnapCenter 4.1. Let's look at the SnapCenter overview at glance. SnapCenter enables to perform and manage tasks related to backup, recovery, and clone easily using single pane of class. Here is a typical topology of SnapCenter deployment. SnapCenter plugin for Microsoft SQL Server can be deployed from SnapCenter server without remoting into SQL Server host. For clone lifecycle management, let's understand a use case and a typical database refresh challenges where DBA need to create a copy of database on another instance. Operation team runs a massive batch processing with complex queries or execute ETL packages on daily, weekly, quarterly, or monthly basis and then generate reports that are consumed by enterprise leadership team for business forecasting and decision making. DBA use native approach to backup database copy over the network share and restore the database using SQL Server jobs. With such scenario, DBA may encounter following challenges. Data size are increasing, 1 TB database size has become common. Migrating large database over the network is time consuming and this may also impact SLA. Next one is maintaining copy of a backup over network share and on secondary server is an overhead. It's a very common problem that SQL Server database refresh job fails due to space crunch. Next, since all the database refresh jobs are scripted separately, this increases the manageability of number of jobs. Last but not the least, database refresh jobs are automated using T-SQL or PowerShell commandlets. There is no graphical user interface to create a job. Hence, there is a high possibility of human error. SnapCenter helped to overcome these challenges by offloading tasks from Microsoft SQL Server to NetApp storage system. Let's say there are two SQL Server instances that are connected to same ONTAP storage system and the third instance is connected to a secondary storage system. All three hosts have SnapCenter plugin for Microsoft SQL Server installed. Using clone lifecycle management, user first create clone copy on secondary instance connected to a same storage system and the whole process can be scheduled using the same wizard. Similarly, the task can also be performed on third SQL Server instance using snap mirror or snap world copy. In case user want to detach clone copy from snapshot copy, user can perform a split operation from snap center. Snap center also has the capability to visually represent number of backup and clone copies available for each database with such topology view. Now let's see a demo. We log into Snap Center. Suppose an application is deployed with 11 databases and a business requirement is to clone all database to secondary instance for complex processing. We create a resource group by a name clone db demo. Then select all the primary instance database under this group. Since we are not creating any backup jobs, ignore all the backup policy, verification and notification settings. After the resource group is created, click on the clone lifecycle button. Provide a clone job name. Select the secondary host to create a clone copy. Provide suffix to differentiate primary database name from the clone DB. We provide suffix underscore clone. Next, select the appropriate option whether Snap Center need to select snapshot copy from primary or secondary storage. We select primary copy. In this section, we can schedule clone job to run daily, weekly, quarterly, or monthly. We select run now for this demo and click next. And click next and you're done. You can check the status from monitoring section. The job was completed in few minutes. We validate it from SQL Server secondary instance as well 
whether all the databases are created with clone suffix. So, we saw how Snap Center helps in automating the process to migrate database with ease. Using resource group, multiple databases within an instance can be cloned to another instance with just few clicks. Thank you.